Hey boos, I am coming to you all because I am starting this sensational challenge. I will be using this product exclusively. I do want to show you all the current condition of my nails so that you all can follow me throughout this journey. Then I will remove the gel manicure that I currently have on and I will kind of walk you through the process so that you can see step by step and week by week what the condition of my nails are and if this product is effective. Uh, here are my nails. As you can see, I do have some length. I trimmed them down before my last manicure, which was about a week and a half ago. Um, so I do have some growth. My thumbnail actually had a crack down very close to the nail bed here. Um, and a few seconds before I decided to tape this video, I ended up getting a crack on the side of my nail here on this thumbnail. And I am going to just take that opportunity to trim all of my nails down once I remove the polish um, so that everything kind of starts off with a clean slate, very little growth. Um, and I think that will also help with you all who are paying attention to the challenge and want to truly see what it does. Um, now this product retails, I got it for uh, $8.97 at my Walmart. It does purport to be a strengthener, and I will just read to you what it says that it does here. Um, it says, this vitamin-infused strengthening formula fills in ridges and smooths imperfections while reinforcing nails. It says, to use between Sensation Nail Gel Polish and, and Fused Gel Enamel applications for strengthened nails. So it does not purport to actually improve growth, but obviously if your nails are stronger, they will grow naturally on their own. Mine are very, very weak. So we will see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this manicure that I have here and I will come back so that you can see the natural condition of my nails and the natural strength of my nails. I have just removed all the polish from my nails. I still have a little bit because I had glitter polish and y'all know how difficult that is to get off. Um, but this is the current condition of my nails with just the gel polish base on. I'm going to soak these off just so you can see here. My nails do not have any bend to them with the strengthener on. Uh, so my nails are strong. You can see that I have some length there and again I cut them down almost to nothing just before I did this manicure and you can see that there has been growth already. I'm going to trim them, uh, remove the gel manicure and prep my nails for the next manicure and I will be back once I have removed the gel. Okay, I have just removed my gel manicure. It was a strengthener manicure and this is the condition of my nails. Um, I'm just going to let you all see a little bit like the bendability of my nails. Um, as you can see there, my nails can bend without the uh, polish on, but I will say that the strengthener has helped because they are not nearly as bendable as they once were before I started using that product. Um, before then, my nails could bend literally all the way over and bounce right back. Um, and they would easily tear, especially on the sides. Um, I don't have any really bad nails on this hand. Um, again, on this thumb, on the other hand, you can see the difference in length there because I had a break there. The break is still patched. And I have this side here that is cracked. So I am going to cut everything down. Everything is good. So I'll just be chopping them all down and getting them evened up. And then I will be applying my Sensational product as I normally would after I do uh, my cuticle treatment and that sort of stuff. Okay, I am back. I have trimmed all of my nails. So I did decide to trim them down even shorter than I had planned, which I actually think will work even better being that I'll be testing this product. You'll really be able to see the growth a lot better. On the nails that were damaged, um, this one I kind of just shaped it a little weird but as it grows out I'll be able to square it off even more um, but all the rest of the nails are down really low and this one I also even chipped off the patch um, because it had already started to grow off so I just trimmed that down as well and kind of gave it a little bit of an odd shape but once I put polish on it you will not be able to see that so my nails are now prepped I've pushed my cuticles back 
um, and I will go ahead and start with my primer. I use the OPI Bond first. I don't really know why. It's just what I do and what I have found that gives me the longest hold. Um, so I'm going to use the OPI Bond on all of my nails and then I'm going to prime all of my nails. Then I will do probably two to three coats of this depending upon how I feel the strength, the little bit of nail that I have, if there's any bend to it, I will use another coat. So I will do two to three coats and when I come back, I will give you my initial impressions of this product uh, as well as let you know the exact number of coats that I ended up using. Hey booze, I am back and I have just completed this gel manicure. Uh, I used the Sensational Gel Strengthener as my base coat. I did do three coats of that, three very, very thin coats. Um, this strengthener is much, much thinner than the previous strengthener that I used. So I used three very thin coats of that as a base and then I used heirloom lilac which is a lavender color as my color of choice for this particular manicure then I used my top coat and got rid of the sticky residue layer that is the way that I used the previous strengthener was with the coats and then that actual a gel polish so I wanted to start off this challenge using this product in the very same way I will go ahead and initially say that that is not what the directions specifically allow for as you all know I kind of tend to use products the way that I want to use them uh, and I'm willing to give it a try if it doesn't work out oh well I just put on a new manicure um, but this particular product says to use it between manicures or it says to use between sensational gel polish and fused gel enamel applications to strengthen nails. Uh, it does not talk about using it as a base coat the way that I have with the polish over it. So I will definitely let you know what my experience is using it this way and if, if it is successful in this way. Um, I believe based upon the makeup that I see here that it shouldn't cause any problems but again I will let you all know so I used three coats of this product I did not wipe off the sticky residue layer and then I put on three very very thin layers of the heirloom lilac heirloom lilac is a very sheer color so it does take the three thin coats but hopefully you can see here that the nails are not very thick at all um, so there's still a very thin layer here um, I wish that I was able to show you all more hopefully you can see here if I press just on the tip um, my nails are pretty firm uh, about as equally firm as they were with the previous product that you all saw earlier in the video um, but of course I do have very short nails now so there's not as much um, room there for there to be any, bend any bendability um, but I am very happy with the strength that I have I've kind of pressed my hands here against the table and I don't feel a lot of bending or flexibility so I'm very happy with that um, the product is very thin it's a uh, has a high viscosity especially in comparison to the other products that I have used uh, it is very clear as well um, if you looked at some of the previous products that I used, there's like a milky consistency to that this does not so far I have enjoyed it I will see what I get in the morning and throughout the course of this week I will be back in one to two weeks depending upon how long this manicure lasts um, and let you know what my experience was over that time and also give you an update on my next manicure. If you have comments, comment down below if you have any questions that you'd like to ask. Also leave those down below. I'll be happy to answer them and come back soon to see more of the Sensational Challenge. Bye.